Hey, this is Karen McCullough, and last Saturday uh, I was at a soccer game. It was really the last soccer game of the season for a group of four-year-olds. Huh? And I really wasn't even thinking about the trophy time, even though I speak about it all the time. But when it was over, when the game was over, the team, I think, was uh, didn't win a game all year. I think they were like 0-12. Uh, but when it was over, everybody sat down, and the coaches were so <laughs> cute, these guys. And moms, they got out all the trophies. And they started giving the four-year-olds their trophy. And the kids were holding the trophies up. And I started noticing that they were really proud of these trophies. Like, they were making fists, and they were pointing to it when they were getting their pictures taken. And it dawned on me that they believed that they were special right? They got the trophy. They didn't really think about their team. They thought about themselves and they all had these trophies. And I started thinking, if we do that at four and we do that until they get off to college, I said, what do you think is going to happen in the workplace? You know, we get mad and we scratch our heads and we say, what are we going to do with this younger generation? But the reality of it is, is that they are a product of what we do for them in a product of society. So I am really here to ban participatory trophies. I really think that kids getting trophies and getting excited just because they showed up is really hurting us in the workforce. And it's really hurting our family life. So my goal right now, I'm going to take a stand. Don't get mad at me, mom and dads, but my goal is to say no more trophies. Only give a trophy when the team wins or for that most improved player. But I think that we have to put earning and meaning behind the trophies. So if we do this, I believe that we're going to see a change, a big change in the way kids act at home and at work. So no more trophies, big X on trophies. I would love for you to weigh in and comment on this one. So come on, let me hear your opinion. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Kara McCullough, Lessons from the Road.